Ladies and gentlemen, what we witnessed yesterday from the Pokemon Company was something truly special. Somehow, it didn't live up to our expectations, and yet, it also did. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee represent change for the Pokemon series, and while some fans may have expressed concern with this strategy, we're here to tell you why these games are beneficial for both old fans and new ones. This is Inside Pokemon Switch. When we woke up yesterday, we had no idea we would witness the first trailer for the first Pokemon game coming to the Nintendo Switch that isn't a fighter this year. Though it isn't the same Pokemon game Sunakazu Ishihara mentioned at last year's E3, we still received confirmation that that game will be coming in 2019. So if you aren't totally sold on the concept of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, relax. You'll be getting a more ambitious title come next year. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee act as Gen 1 remakes, with Pokemon Go elements thrown into the mix. Considering Pokemon Yellow will be celebrating its 20th anniversary in September, the timing for this is appropriate. Seriously though, you cannot deny that the Pokemon Company are true geniuses when it comes to their strategy of releasing two Pokemon Let's Go games and then the core RPG Pokemon title, which will undoubtedly be two games itself, next year. The existence of these Let's Go games can all be linked back to the gargantuan success of Pokemon Go, which reached over 800 million downloads since its release in 2016. Let's face it guys, integration with Pokemon Go had to happen some way or another. Out of those 800 million Pokemon Go downloads, we guarantee you that over half of those downloads were from non-Pokemon fans. People of all ages were playing this game, so Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee catering to that crowd was a smart thing to do. The way you catch Pokemon in this game is very similar to Pokemon Go, except you use the Joy-Con to imitate a throwing motion. Or you could just buy the sweet Pokeball attachment, the Pokeball Plus, to really feel like a Pokemon trainer. You can also transfer Pokemon to this ball into your friends' games. Or you can pet it, it's up to you. It's even usable in Pokemon Go, notifying you when a Pokemon is nearby. The Pokemon Go integration doesn't stop there. You can transfer any Gen 1 Pokemon you find in the mobile game and transfer it to the Switch game. If this doesn't give you an excuse to re-download Pokemon Go, then I don't know what will. However, if you don't want the Pokemon Go features, they're completely optional, so don't complain. Also, random encounters are completely scrapped, something we've talked about getting rid of earlier in this series. But as a result, you won't be able to battle wild Pokemon and will have to catch them as a replacement. We hope this doesn't become too tedious, though you will still be able to battle trainers in gyms and in the field. The battle system also appears to be unchanged from its predecessors, except this time you can bring in a buddy for some local co-op battles and adventures. Did we mention you can also play these games on one single Joy-Con? It makes sense, seeing as you really only need to use a few buttons while playing most Pokemon games. We don't doubt that a lot of you are groaning about the combination of Pokemon Go and console Pokemon within these two titles, but you're missing the bigger picture. Pokemon was already a big franchise before Go came out, but that mobile game introduced the franchise to somehow even more people around the world. My mother was playing Pokemon Go. Seriously. To alienate them by coming out with a Pokemon game that only caters to the hardcore fans of the past 22 years would be unwise. By appealing to the Pokemon Go crowd and releasing this game days before Black Friday, you bet your bum Nintendo was going to sell at least 40 million Switches by the end of the next fiscal year. Let's recap. We're getting Super Smash Bros. and Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch in the same exact year. Nintendo is about to print money with the Switch. And the Pokemon Company has not forgotten about you, the hardcore players, in the slightest. As they also announced that a core RPG Pokemon title will be coming to the Switch in 2019. This is the game that the president of the Pokemon Company, Tsunekazu Ishihara, was referring to last year. And it is the game that we will continue to talk about on this series. Namely, tomorrow. So stay tuned for that episode. 
think of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee as training. Training for the new fans who started with Pokemon Go in anticipation for the real Pokemon game coming next year. Even then, there are still a lot for veteran fans of Pokemon to enjoy in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Personally, as someone who's never been a fan of Pokemon for no reason in particular, the concept of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee excites me to no end. This is exactly what the Pokemon Company needed to do to pique my interest into finally getting into this series. It's pretty. It's simple. It'll teach me the core mechanics of a Pokemon game to get me ready for the big title coming next year. Of course, the game isn't out yet, so who's to say if this will be a gigantic failure or not? But I have faith that Game Freak put just as much heart and soul into this project as they will the core RPG Pokemon title coming in 2019. Before we go though, we'd like to mention that the special Pokemon referred to at the end of the trailer is a hint of a brand new Pokemon never before seen. So yeah, get excited. Joseph, you forgot to talk about the Pokeball Plus, which is an additional peripheral that will allow to bring your Pokemon with you in a Pokeball on the go for the net price of 50 US dollars. Oh boy, Pokemon Company and Nintendo, you will make so much money on this thing. So let's get this straight. In order to get the full experience, you need A. Let's go Pikachu. That's 60 US dollars. B. Let's go Evi. That's another 60 US dollars. And C. The Pokeball Plus. For the net sum of 60 plus 60, that's 120 plus 50, 170 US dollars for the full experience. Please take all my money. down to the specifics, as the Pokeball Plus is a sophisticated piece of hardware offering 3 hours of battery life, conveniently the same as the Switch in handheld mode, hmm, and has built-in accelerometer, gyroscope, can be charged with your Switch USB-C AC adapter, and finally vibrates and makes sounds through its speaker. This is all cool and all, but you know, we are all going to buy it just to have a real Pokeball with our Pokemon in it, our own little babies. So overall, Let's Go Pikachu and Evi might be heavily influenced by Pokemon Go, with things such as lack of random encounters and wild Pokemon battles. But for a title that is not mainline and mostly a celebration of the 20th anniversary of Pokemon Yellow, that was my first Pokemon game by the way, this is more than good enough. Because remember, we are getting that core RPG next year. In other words, they just have this game to bring in more Switch owners from the huge, huge Pokemon Go user base and then hold them over for the main course. Because guess what the theme of Nintendo's E3 booth in 2019 will be. Yeah, so it kind of makes sense. We're go going full circle. Back to Kanto, back to where it all started, back to Professor Oak. And this is definitely in many ways a callback both to uh, reignite Pokemon, uh, probably rebooting the franchise, but also catering to new audiences, just like we saw with the name uh, Let's Go Pikachu, which is definitely a connection to Pokemon Go. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we know that Pokemon Go is probably the biggest success story uh, for the Pokemon franchise, especially when it comes to catering to uh, a more casual audience. Yeah. Yeah. We even had our, our Prime Minister playing the game. Yeah, we so... do. There is no surprise here. Also know that uh, the Pokemon company uh, with the Switch have been uh, wanting to change a lot yeah. recently because uh, they've been stuck with the same formula for over 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, and not much has changed. Of course, you've gotten new battle mechanics, but the staple of the series has remained pretty much unchanged yeah. since the first Pokemon games on the game. I think. Uh, uh, let's go Pikachu bundle for the Nintendo Switch is pretty much a given at this point. You know what I just realized? They'll probably uh, launch a new series of Amiibos with this. Oh! Yeah! More to collect! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> but we'd like to hear from you. What do you think of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee? Will you be picking up these games? Or will you wait for the official Pokemon RPG released next year? Sound off in the comments section or tweet it to us at Common Realm. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that like and notification bell to be notified when we come out with a new episode of Inside Pokemon Switch, 
which will be coming out tomorrow as we go over the 2019 Pokemon title in further detail. Less than 9,000 subscribers separates us from the big 150k, and if we reach that number by June 15th, we will host a giveaway with 15 free annual subscriptions for Nintendo Switch Online. We'd also like to thank our patrons, including Royal Producer Kenyatta Ali, for all their contributions to the realm. If you'd like to support us more in exchange for some awesome perks and swag, then visit patreon.com slash commonrealm. In the meantime, girls and guys, get ready to catch them all, as we will see you tomorrow.